All right, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to navigate through my fitness pal or your my fitness pal app. So the interface is actually pretty straightforward. Um, this is the dashboard. I have the crown on my icon just because uh, I do have the premium uh, app, but you do not need the premium app. I just felt like, you know, treat myself and, and it's literally, uh, you don't need it. You really don't. It's the, the addition that you're getting is just being able to look at your macros a little bit differently. That's, that's it. So don't get the premium, just get the basic free version. Um, you've got your dashboard of what you're doing. So this is essentially my, my calories. Uh, my goal is about 2645 per day right now. And I'm currently at 1892, right? And we're not adding exercise in this. We're keeping that in trainerize. So, uh, Let's dive in. We're going to go down to the bottom of the screen under the search for a food bar. Click diary. And as you can see, I've already done this, but we're going to act like that. Act, act like I did not. You're going to go into breakfast. Click add food. If you had okra eggs and white rice, you're literally just going to start with the first ingredient. We'll punch in okra. Boom. You'll select it. You'll choose the way you measured it. Okay. Once you've chosen that unit, You'll choose, you'll uh, decide how many servings of that unit that you had, and then you'll hit save, and then you'll hit the top right hand check. So in the right hand corner, you'll hit that check mark, and when you come back out, <clears throat> it'll basically take you to this page and show you your okra inside of your breakfast item. Now, I did not have okra, so that's why you don't see it there, but it'll show up. I promise. Now the cool thing about entering food is that once you've done it once um, or twice, it's usually just once. It'll show back up again pretty quickly. Quickly. So, for example, I use uh, "Be Well" by Kelly. So, if I put, just put in "Well," it already knows or has an idea of. It pulls up a track record of like what items have I used in the past that have "Well" in it. Boom. There's the protein powder that I use. It's that's about the. It's like exactly the serving that I use. So now, instead of selecting the item and doing all this extra stuff and and you know doing the measurements. I can just click the plus sign on the far right hand side and it'll automatically just add it. So boom, I'm all set. And you're literally going to repeat that for every meal. That's it. Now there's three uh, specific ways that I'd recommend you go about doing this in terms of your tracking. Uh, the first way is going to be the most uh, inefficient in my experience, and that's adding throughout the day. So when you have a meal, you put it in here. The second uh, easiest way is going to be the uh is going to be writing down all of your food and then adding it at the end of the day into my fitness pal which is very easy the absolute easiest way most efficient way and this might be weird at first but it's the most efficient way is going to be for you to go in the night before and log everything that you're going to have the next day which is why it's so important to prep your food as much as you can so you go in log everything that you're going to have the next day so that way at the end of the day you only have to add anything that you may have had more of or you, you subtract anything that you missed. So I hope that makes sense. Those are three ways that I would recommend you track. But uh, this is just a quick video of how to navigate through MyFitnessPal, the app.